A very good morning to you and welcome to the show. Yeah, I hope you are well. A little bit shorter today, but we've still got loads to keep you informed and entertained, including all of this. Now, as wildfires burn across southern Europe, the mass evacuation and repatriation of tourists from Greek holiday resorts is underway. Simon Calder has the latest on the situation, including what it means for you if you've booked to travel to the regions later this summer. We're also bringing you today's other headlines with Nick Ferrari and Sonia Soda. Yeah, and also this morning we rely on our phones 24-7, but this time of year can cause all sorts of problems. Poolside mishaps and overheating all taking their tolls on your handset. The help is at hand. Isn't that right? The brilliantly named Matt Locke. Yeah, well, phones cost upwards of a £1,000 nowadays, so you want to make sure you get the best out of them. I've got all the best gadgets and all the best tips to keep you on the phone for longer. Yes, Matt. Thank Good you, stuff. Matt. Thank you. Uh, a summer with your loved ones can sometimes cause stress, oh. tension oh. and a lot of shouting. You know what it's like. But if that loved one has four legs and a waggly tail, uh, you're onto a winner. Scott, <laughs> tell us more. What's up? Yeah! I'm with this crazy bunch of puppers that are on sups. Uh, we are here in the absolutely gorgeous uh, River Avon. It's in between Bath and Bradford upon Avon. And actually, Bath was known to be the number one on a survey for the most popular place to go if you want to take your canine companion on holiday. Scully is loving it. She's got the right attire. So hopefully, if I keep holding my paddle, I'm on a creek. I'll be paddling a little bit later into the show. Thank you, oh, Scott. thank you. Just don't fall in. Don't fall in. Do you reckon Scully's ever just like, can I just have a day at home? I'm absolutely <laughs> exhausted. Well, she just looks so She's happy, just such a she? great dog, isn't she? She's just like chilled, you know what I mean? A bit like you do. Great just time. chilled. Be more Scully. Taking please. life in right. your stride. Listen, forget those half-time oranges. McKenna is here, has got something more really? than tasty for tomorrow's football. Cloda, it yes. looks and smells amazing. Like I'm doing Guinness chocolate brownies. Yeah, you are. Ireland are playing tomorrow. Come amazing. on, Katie and the team. Um, and then I'm also making a nod to the Canadians, maple and pecan ice cream. It's a no-churn, so you don't need an ice cream maker to make it. So, And you could do lots of different variations with it. So that's that's a nod to Canada. That's a nod to Canada. Well, I'm playing Canada. But, Come on, Katie and the girls. Yeah. We've got one Canada flag behind you and the rest is just right. Very good, Clodo. I'm going to smash that. Oh, tonight. yeah. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, Lisa Snowden's going to be rounding off the show today. What's what's going on fashion-wise, Lisa? Good morning, you gorgeous two. So, yeah, we all know we can rent our fashion, but now we can hire from the high street. And with our social calendars filling up and our bank balances getting even tighter, I'm going to make sure you're the best dressed guest on a fraction of the price. Mm, Thank you. Nice Lisa. work, Snowden. <laughs> so we're speaking to British tourists caught up in the wildfires next. Uh, one man and his dog, Dr Scott, on a paddle board with Scully just before midday. Uh, cloda has got a twist on a chocolate brownie at five past twelve. And she is hired. Lisa Snowden has tips for renting your style at the end of the show. Uh, now, we have all seen the shocking scenes as Greece faces the biggest fire evacuation it has ever faced. The Foreign Office believes up to 10,000 Brits could still be on the island of Rhodes, with many still stranded in Corfu, 600 miles to the east. Yeah, I'm just seeing the pictures now, it looks horrific. Rescue flights uh, repatriate families from resorts, hundreds of sleeping at airports and stadiums and other makeshift shelters, and let's not, of course, forget uh, the thousands of Greek families who call the island their home.